Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I continue my Tenerife travel vlog. Today I'll show you my top 5 favorite hiking trails in Tenerife. Each of them is a moderate difficulty which allows everyone to readily go all the way and enjoy the stunning views of the island of Tenerife. If you like a more active holiday, this video will definitely be helpful for you. I'll leave links to all roads with detailed information in the description under this video. Let's not waste time, let's go! Good morning everyone! Today the weather is a bit unstable. The sun replaced the rain with a difference of an hour. Also strong wind, but we decided to stick to our plan and go hiking. As I said in previous edition, this is our second visit to the island of Tenerife. Unlike the last trip when we went on a new exciting hiking trip almost every other day, this time we preferred a more lazy and relaxing kind of holiday. For this reason, most of the places in this video are from my archives from a previous trip. Today we arrived at El Sausal. Here we will have an easy hiking road. Length 6.6 km, elevation gain 282 meters. Road type out and back. The estimate time of the whole journey is about 2 h. I can't say that this is real hiking for me. It is more suitable for a pleasant walk. Hello. But for us it is perfect, because on this holiday, as I said earlier, we decided to allow ourselves to be lazy. What's the interesting visit? Be careful on the descent. Some of the stones were mobile and for this reason I slipped several times. I also know that because of the rain the surface of the stone became even more slippery. Keep this in mind when planning your hike on this road. Maybe rain is not the best idea for hiking in the mountains. At this point you can follow the beautiful hiking trails around El Sautal and the protected landscape of the Costa de Santejo. The road begins at the Mirador de las Breñas and continues down the Camino de las Breñas and the coastal coast of Sausal. The road continues along the same path to the left, reaching the Roja Serie and the Virgen del Carmen Hermitage. I can't say that I'm amazed by the beauty of this place, but if like me you are looking for a lighter option and don't want to overload your day with activity, this place is perfect for this task. I'll leave a link to the road with information in the description under this video and we are moving on. Зеленый цвет – это самый сложный цвет для съемки для меня, для телефона. Он всегда 
неестественно получается. On our first trip to the Canary Islands, we were in Gran Canaria. Already there I realized that this island have problems with vegetation. That's why I was pleasantly surprised. When we arrived in the north of Tenerife during our second trip, I found not just vegetation, but dense forest with fantastic park areas. That is where we are heading right now. La Cardera in Parque Natural Carona Forestal. Excellent hiking road with a moderate level of difficulty. Lens 12.4 km, elevation gain 106 m, road type loop. In this location you can find a lot of trails with any level of difficulty, from the simplest to the extreme. Most of the roads in this park live from one point, I'll leave a link for you in the description, you can choose the appropriate hiking trails for you. I definitely rank this place among my favorite hiking trails in Tenerife. The fresh smell of the coniferous forest and stunning views from the tops of the mountains. Ты же сама знаешь. Одну четвертую? Одну четвертую. Так это очень мало. А я уже как бы так нормально устала. Be attentive and careful. The road has several dangerous areas with a narrow road. It is ideal to have special hiking shoes or sneakers with a good tread. Take care of yourself and we are moving further north. I were to rank the best hiking trails in Tenerife, this place is definitely one of the three most picturesque places on the island. We are in the Parque Rural de Anaga. Our itinerary for today is El Dragillo. It is a small hamlet in the mountains of the Anaga Massif. The length of the road is 5.1 km, elevation gain 460 m road type loop. The estimate type of the whole journey is about 2.30 minutes. Придурок. А ты снимала? Я убила камеру как раз, слава богу. Убрала? Да. Блин. Нифига себе здесь Миродор. Вот этот, да, горы с облаками. Офигеть.
It is a pleasant road with a moderate level of difficulty. Several places had narrow section and loose rocks. Be careful. I consider this road the safest and most enjoyable for hiking. In exchange for a little effort when climbing, you will get stunning views of the island from the top. Do not be afraid to climb higher on large boulders. They offer the best views. There are several perfect locations for amazing photos. Пожалуйста, будь осторожен. We are again in the Parque Rural de Anaga in Chamorga. We plan to go down to Roque Bermejo Beach. Also, the famous Anaga Lighthouse awaits us. The length of the road is 8.7 km, elevation gain 641 m, road type loop. The estimated time of the whole journey is about 3h.50 minutes. Мне такую фотку надо будет, только надо убрать твой этот рюкзак. I have never been so close to the clouds. It is an incredible feeling and a fantastic experience. The road turned out to be very pleasant and pretty safe. This place is considered one of the highest points of the Anaga mountain range. I can say this with absolute certainty. I practically touched the clouds with my hands. Compared to the previous road, the views here are not so delightful, but the energy of this place is much more powerful. Rocky Bermejo Beach is pretty good, but he didn't make me want to swim in it. Perhaps it was because of the lack of sun that day. I love the famous mountain shark tale on the beach. The whole area below reminds me of some pirate movie. Our luck can pass the road in splendid isolation. There were no tourists on our way. There was a certain magic about it. The only companions of the road were mountain gods, but they were pretty friendly. This place has become special to me. I definitely rank it among my top 5 favorite hiking roads. And now from the breathtaking green north we go to the south. One of our goals was to meet the most beautiful sunrise on the island. For this reason, we woke up early and went in the southeast direction to one of the most beautiful beaches, from where you can see the town.
We are on the beach of Montaña Pelada. Even though this video is all about hiking, I couldn't exclude this place from the list of my favorite roads in Tenerife. Of course, I'll leave a link to this beach in the description. You don't have to walk much here, but you will get incredible pleasure from being on this beach. It is one of the best sunrises I have seen on this island. Что такое твердо здесь? Чуваки явно постарались такие глубокие ямы делать. Сейчас мы находимся на юге, на юге Тенерифе. Здесь, конечно, меньше растительности, но от этого абсолютно нисколько не проигрывает. Здесь безумно, безумно красивый пляж. Мы сейчас находимся на одном из диких пляжей, но не столько дикий, просто менее туристический, здесь безумно красиво. Мы здесь э, планировали встретить восход, но мы практически его застали, так как я водитель не самый лучший, вот, к сожалению, удалось его э, увидеть полностью, но часть восхода мы все-таки встретили, и будут красивые фотографии и немножко кадров оттуда, вот. Сейчас практически нет людей, здесь недавно сидел чувак, он медитировал, потом сходил, немножко искупался, естественно, голышом. Вот. В общем, здесь все для того, чтобы созидать, медитировать, наслаждаться. За мной я вообще сижу на скале, это скала, и она полностью из песка, то есть это затвердевший песок. Вот, и такое вот образование получилось. Конечно же, океан, кстати, здесь абсолютно небольшие волны, но есть пляж с волнами. Собственно говоря, куда мы и направимся. Мы сегодня посетим несколько южных пляжей, надеюсь, будет весело, интересно. И обязательно зависим на одном из них, поплаваем, покупаемся и еще увидим пляж серферов. Вот. Так что следим за нами, будет круто, точно, 100%. А вон и Леша идет. To dilate this road with a walk, we decided to come to the famous El Medana beach. Here you can walk and watch the kite surf. Вот kite surferы. After the walk, the reward will be swimming in the south of the island with perfect beaches and golden sands. It is all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. All questions you can ask me in the comments. Have a nice day. See you in the following video. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.